Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your data from your new hard drive to your old one on your Xbox. And first off, this is the cheapest way to do this would be to buy your hard drive somewhere else. Like, I bought mine through eBay. It came with this, the data transfer kit, but it's uh, for the computer. It's pretty complicated. So, I called up uh, Xbox and I got myself the data transfer kit right here. It cost them uh, exactly $20 and it was shipped to me within, uh, I'd say, about a week. And then for the new hard drive and the transfer kit, it cost me 70 bucks. I would have bought it from Best Buy somewhere at the time, it would have cost me about 120 Alright, so I'll just take off, alright. Here's the CD right here. This cable it looks exactly like that one right there. Might be a little bit different, but who knows? And then here's the manual. Alright, first thing you want to do, unplug this one, put this off the side. Alright, unravel this. Alright, then you're going to want to take this, plug it in, like so. And take out your CD. Sorry guys about the noise. I'm gonna rip it out. Right. Open up Xbox. Take out Call of Duty. Plug this in. I want to unplug everything else from the back. Wi Fi. Alright. Push that in. Press screen. Alright, so it says select OK. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug it in the hard drive in the back. Let's take this out. Put this off the side. Sorry guys, once again for the view. Alright, there we go, we got it plugged in. Alright, now I'll just click OK. Alright, this tells you everything you have on your old hard drive, how much memory, click start. And it's in the process. Alright guys, I'm back. It just finished. It took about three minutes, not even a complete the download. It's pretty quick. Alright, just click no and then you wanna turn off your Xbox. Unplug it. Plug it in the back. Take out your old hard drive and put in the new one. All right, looks like everything's good. I want to put in the Wi-Fi. Turning on. System update.
I'm gonna put my controller to turn on. There we go. Alright, it looks like it reset itself. And that's it. If you guys have more questions, send me a comment, and bye.